Hey, Lauren. Good, and you? Oh. Awkward situation, right? I've done it and I'm sure it's happened to you. I encounter a lot of awkward situations. I don't know, I just somehow go into a gathering or a party and I just find a way to make something awkward. For example, yesterday I was talking to someone, having an okay conversation, and I turn around and I trip on a chair. There was just a chair right there and I didn't see it and I just fell. Awkward situation, happens to me many, many times. But well, I have some three somewhat top awkward moments for you, at least that really happened for me, and kind of how to overcome them because I go through a lot of awkward situations, but it's all about just pulling it off and just not making it even more awkward than it already is. So I kind of want to give you a little, some tips on to how to deal with all these awkward situations. So we'll go on into uh, like the least awkward to the most awkward, at least in my scale. So one of the first awkward moments is forgetting someone's name. I forget someone's name all the time. I'll remember their face, but when it comes to their name, it's just blank. I, it's like when they first told me when I first met them, I had it and then it goes in one ear and out the other and so the next time I see them I can't remember their name I don't know why I just I can't so this tip has saved me so many times what I do to help me with that situation is I grab a friend that's never met them before and I'll explain the situation that I cannot remember their name so when I say hi and I tell them to just cut on in and say their name and introduce themselves so then I'm able to remember their name and it becomes less awkward in the future. This is my first tip on how to remember or remember someone's name. So another awkward thing that happens to me quite a bit is making a mistake in front of someone, like dropping a drink and it kind of spills on them or running into someone. Oh my goodness, I have like ran into people. Like I get very expressive around people and all of a sudden I'll just like smack someone that I don't even know or... But the tip I have for you is to own up to the mistake because if you do not own up to the mistake, it'll become a more awkward situation and then you just kind of seem like you're a stuck up person and actually... Um, didn't even care about what you just did. So if you accidentally bump into a person, just say, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, are you okay? And that just makes a situation a hundred times better. So another awkward moment is talking to your crush. Now I understand you first meet someone and it's really easy to get into a conversation, but then you talked about previously um, everything you think of, oh, what are your hobbies, and um, who do you know? You you think about all the conver you talked about all the conversations in the past. So now, how are you going to start up a conversation again? This is where you have to come prepared. If you're a really awkward person like me, don't just go into it thinking, oh, it's just gonna go in. The conversation is gonna go naturally. But most likely, he doesn't know you that well, and he didn't come prepared to talk to someone new so come prepared have a conversation already ready now what not to do is don't think of like small talk situations because that is the easiest way for someone to say okay well nice talking to you bye and make it a have a legit conversation not small talk we don't need to hear about the weather or whatever other small, oh, sports, I don't know. I don't know what other small, my small talk thing is about the weather. Talk about something that happened to you like the week before. And if nothing happened to you that month, think about something that happened the month before that, that maybe you didn't talk about the first time you talked with the, your crush. So I just come prepared thinking about something that was funny that happened and that could lead up into more conversations. So just remember have an actual conversation prepared, not small talk. Those are my tips on how to overcome awkward, certain awkward situations. See, I can't even talk. What you guys can do is leave comments down below of awkward situations that's happened to you, but also things that 
helped you overcome that and, and subscribe if you and if you really like these kind of videos give it a thumbs up because maybe I'll start including more tips on how to deal with certain situations <laughs> so thanks for watching you guys and I will see you tomorrow with another vlog bye